Hello to my viewers. My maths presentation today is about quadratic equation. This maths is intended to the grade 9 students and to the students who are majoring in mathematics. So I have here number 1. 6x squared minus 8x plus 7 is equal to 0. Now find the roots, the roots of x. So we have x1 and x2. So since this is impossible to factor using the simple factoring, so we have to use straight away the quadratic formula. The quadratic formula is x equals negative b plus and minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over by 2a. We just collect the numeric, the coefficient of the variable. So for x squared, we have x, 6 I mean, and then b is negative 8 then for the constant positive 7 so using the formula x equals negative negative b is negative 8 then plus and minus square root of b squared so minus 8 squared minus 4 a 6 times c so this will be over 2 times a which is 6 so this will be x equals negative negative that will be positive positive 8 plus and minus square root of this will be positive 64 then this will be minus so what is 42 times 4 this will be 8 this will be 16 so this will be 6 1 6 8 over 12 so this will be x equals 8 plus and minus square root of what is 168 minus 64. So this will be 4. This will be 10. So this will be negative 100. Sorry, this is 100, negative 104 because this is negative 168 over 12. Okay. So I will solve the roots. So this will be x is equal to 8 plus and minus square root of. So this is factors of 104 that has perfect square. So this will be 4 times 26. Since there is negative, so I'll just put outside which is i, imaginary, over 12. Okay? So, this will be 8, positive, plus and minus, square root of, sorry, square root of 4 is 2. Then, I have now square root of 26, i, over 12. Then, factor out, this will be, common is 2. This will be 4, plus and minus, square root of 26, i, over, I will split 12. 2 times 6, 2 will be crossed out. So I have now x is equals to 4 plus and minus square root of 26 i over 6. So meaning my x1 will be 4 plus square root of 26 i over 6. And then my second root will be 4 minus square root of 26 i over 6. Now let us check this one by... Uh, replacing x x1 and x2 in the given equation let us check if left side will be equal to 0 because right side is 0 so I will use this one so x1 is 4 plus square root of 26 over 6i so this will be 6 so this will be 4 plus square root of 26i over 6 so this will be squared minus 8 times 4 plus square root of 26i over 6. So I need to erase this one. Then plus 7 is equal to 0. Take note that the right side is 0. So it should be the left side will be equal. This will be 0. So 6, then this will be 36. 
Then I need to factor, expand this one, 4 plus square root of 26i. So this will be 16 plus 4 square root of 26i. Then 4 square root of 26i plus 26i squared. Okay, so this will be 16 plus 8 square root of 26i, then plus 26i squared. So take note, i squared is equals to negative 1. So this will be 16, so plus 26 times negative 1 plus 8 square root of 26i. So this will be 16 minus 26, then plus 8 square root of 26i. So this will be minus 10 plus 8 square root of 26i. So this will be negative 10 plus 8 square root of 26i. Then minus, okay. DCF of 8 and 6, this will be 2. Divide by 2 is 4. Divide by 2 is 3. So I have now 4 over 3. Then 4 plus square root of 26i. Then plus 7. Plus 7 is equals to 0. So, divide by 6, 1. Divide by 6, 6. So this will be minus 10 plus 8 square root of 26i over 6 minus. So I will erase this one. 4, let us remember this one. x1 is 4 plus square root of 26i over 6. So this will be 4 over 3. 4 plus square root of 26i plus 7 is equal to 0. This is 1. Then simplify. LCD will be 3 and this will be 1. So this will be 6. 6. Divide, this will be minus 10. Plus 8 square root of 26i. Then minus 6 divided by 3 is 2 times 4 is 8. So this will be circle brackets 4 plus square root of 26 i. Then plus 7 times 6 is 42 is equals to 0. So distribute. So this will be minus 10 plus 8 square root of 26i minus 32. Then this will be minus 8 square root of 26i plus 42 over 6 is equal to 0. So combine positive 8 square root of 26i and then I have negative square root of 26i then this will be crossed out then how about negative 10 so I have negative 10 combine negative so this will be 32 then plus 42 over 6 is equal to 0 so this will be combine this one negative 42 plus 42 over 6 equal to 0. This will be 0 over 6 is equal to 0. So, this will be 0 is equal to 0. So, my x1, which is uh, 4 plus square root of 26i over 6, and the second root will be 4 minus square root of 26i over 6, are correct and that's all.